has to take this one home, all right? It's one of those weeks. Five red lights in a row headed somewhere you don't want to go, only to find out it's closed when you get there. You go home, go to sleep, wake up, and do it again. And again. And again. And look, it's wearing me down. There's a river damming in my tear ducts. At this point, I am begging for that little Dutch dude to let his thumb down. It's time. Open the floodgates. And this is why I've gathered you. If I need to cry, I have a secret weapon. It looks like this. In bed with blue light glowing on my defeated face, there's nothing left but the nuclear option. Somewhat pathetically, I start to type. Crowd sings back. If I'm lucky, the algorithm already knows my secret and skips a step. Either way, it's not one video I'm looking for, but a genre. Anyone will do. I'm looking for a moment. The moment of song, grows from one voice to thousands. The video starts to play, and as I watch a musician look out over a crowd, Seeing this manifestation of art and work, and in some ways, a life, being appreciated, a vicarious pride starts to surface. And when the moment lines up just right, out they come. The waterworks get going, and I'm not processing the musician anymore, but maybe my own little life. Maybe it's because I, in some ways, want to be up there, to be seen like that. Not to be on stage, but to be inside that feeling. In that space of unquestionable acceptance. And what I find as I scan the singer's face is peace, knowing somewhere someone found it. In a weird way, I am proud. We all yearn to be told it's all right without saying a word, but still hearing the words come back. But it's about what the music becomes in that moment, more than what it was before. These videos feel like they capture the moment a song leaves the artists and enters the world. A being that was born in a basement house show, now bigger than the band that birthed it. Out it goes. It belongs to us now. Digging deeper into the feeling, I think that's closer to the source. It's the singular becoming collective, a part becoming the whole. That's where these moments transcend. And that's what I want to dive into with this. I want to try and understand the magic to notice it when I cross its path in the future. Look, I know I refer to too many things as magic. It's a habit I'm trying to kick. But I think that's what I'm drawn to. And I think that's what these kind of moments seem closest to. Watching a force outside of reason transform itself into something new. Sure, you can watch a video and learn magic, make a rabbit appear and disappear. Just like you can logically explain away the feeling from this, but I suggest at least look at it with a sense of wonder if you're able. I'm guessing if you're here, there's a chance you took a detour while typing in something similar yourself, looking for the magic in a crowd singing back. If not, go give it a shot. It doesn't matter if you even know the artist. I'm still not sure Louis Capaldi is even real or if he's just a montage of crowd singing back. Either way, the effect is the same. It just hits harder the more you know the song or the artist. And even better, in those rare golden moments, someone captures the first time an artist really hears their music coming back. A band breaking through. The first fan in a dive bar to know a lyric, or the first time a stadium rises back in response. It takes a thousand different shapes, but draws from the same source. I thought that I would see you know, him being bewildered at all these people staring up at him. I saw the opposite, I saw this absolute tranquility. There was absolute serenity on his face. Total. He just, it's like he had arrived at that thing, that place he tried to find his whole life. Home is acceptance. I love when a bit too much meaning packs its way into the tiniest moments. 
Like how in these simple videos, you'll find a sprawling story of everything that led to this stage, this moment, come through in the glimmer of an artist's eye. Or maybe as they look out over the crowd, taking it all in, you might catch their arm drop to the side. In that small surrender, realizing their singing's no longer the star of the show, that the crowd's got it from here. Sometimes they reach for their chest or try not to fold. Occasionally you catch their face contort as they try to hold back the tears I'm on the side letting loose. And as the words rise back from the crowd, a wave of appreciation comes crashing back. They realize that the art they put out there has been accepted by the universe, given the green light by some intangible force of fame. And in a subtle drop of an arm, you see a weight lift away. A moment of peace found in the chaos of a crowd. But digging in even more, I think what I feel most is community. Because I also get the same effect from stadiums chanting, a chorus of voices rising up. It's Irish rugby fans singing zombie to a stadium. Or New Zealanders performing the haka. A ground-shaking funeral for Juice World. Subway platforms that carry on the concert on their way home. Or, if you can, go get lost in the crowd yourself and watch your own voice drowned out by the sea of song. The more tangible, the better. There's some deep-seated power that dusts itself off and rises to the surface when you're caught up in the chanting of a song. You lose yourself to the scale of it all. Humanity has this genetic and ancestrally repeating pattern. It's like watching Baraka or the Katsi trilogy, where we see humanity reflected back at us and suddenly makes everything else feel tiny in comparison. Tracing it back further, my fascination is rooted in joy. It's the joy of people realizing their collective power and in this rare instance, you get to see that collective power directed at a pure good, to see its potential. For a moment, a slice of humanity comes together to celebrate a song or a moment, a thousand voices resonating with specific words or maybe a greater feeling. It pours out of their souls, a shared humanity reaching back thousands of years taking its newest form. How can you not get romantic about that? Suddenly, I feel like we're nothing more than a flock of starlings in the summer sky, or monarchs migrating home, a whole greater than the sum of its parts. What a beautiful thing to be. Look for the little things in life that you love. That's where meaning hides. It's nice having these types of videos available as a prepackaged break in case of emergency antidote to my apathy. Something to shake free of that romantic hiding inside. Give it a day off from battling the jaded old cynic that's trying to take control. So sure, maybe this type of video doesn't make you cry, but maybe they show you what to look for. I know you know the feeling I'm rambling on about. And the next time it makes its way to you, you'll know what you've got. It may not be crowds singing or stadiums chanting, but whatever it is, I hope you can name it when you find it. And always know to look for the magic hiding in a normal life. In the tears department, I'd like to one day go solo. To not use any performance enhancers. I'm on my way, but I'm still glad that the option's there. That some camera crew captured a feeling that's free to visit any time I'd like. I always hear that dads start to cry at commercials after their kids are born. Now personally, I'm not planning to bring life into this world so I can cry about it just yet, but in the meantime, I'm grateful to be able to cry at all. I'm grateful for a generational shift that's happened in my lifetime and trends beyond my time here. Crying stigma in men is slowly going the way of the dodo. And I'm hoping to do my part to add a passing glance to the final blow. Sure, it'd be nice to let the dam break in other ways, but I'm happy to do so at all. Anything that can move you to tears is worth a closer look. And next time, when you're stuck in your own head, remember that sometimes the best thing to do is get lost in a sea of others, to let yourself fade away into the chorus of it all. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Harper. This is Niche Nonsense.